This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Robert Berman. He is the president and CEO of Recor Systems. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is R-E-K-R on NASDAQ. Robert, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Glad All to right. be here. You know, I'm glad to be here too. It's a Monday. You know, we're getting after it. Like this is this is good. I'll we'll be glad to be here. Yeah, right. right? I mean, you know, yeah. we're, we're all just hanging. But uh, <laughs> let's let's get to Recor. Uh, for, real quick, let's start with uh, that quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So Recor is all about AI and machine learning, which we use to solve complex problems in primarily three markets: public safety, smart cities, and customer experience. Um, and we've got about 15 different products that uh, deal, for the most part, with smart roadways and intelligent roadways um, used uh, by government, law enforcement, um, commercial enterprises, and so forth. And when did the company begin? Like, how, how did you guys get to where you're at today? So the, the company started out with a little bit of a different business model. And in 2000, late 2018, we decided to focus on our tech and shed our non-core assets, which we did. So as of June 30th, um, our sole focus is the technology that we're gonna talk about today. And we bought a software company in March of 2019 called Open Outdoor from a young man named Matt Hill, who's now our chief science officer. And that, that software is primarily the foundation of what we've got here. All right, so tell us a little bit about the technology. What makes it unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? So people think of us often as a license plate recognition company, which is not what we do. So license plate recognition is OCR based old legacy tech. And what we do is we read video streams. And what's unique about it is we can take the video stream from any camera and apply our algorithms on an existing camera and read that stream and replicate it as many times as we need to and answer questions and ask questions that our customers want. So that, that same device can be used by 20 different agencies within the same, let's say government for different purposes, at the same time, real time, at a very low cost. And our, our pricing is probably as disruptive as the technology itself. So what, what, who's your target customer right now? Like who, what, what verticals are you seeing the most demand for your technology? Currently? That's, good, you know, good, that's a good question. So in public safety is law enforcement and, and that's low hanging fruit for us because um, our technology works so well for vehicle recognition, which can be you know, interpreted as license plate recognition, but we do more. We identify the vehicles, make, model, color, body type. We see anomalies like bumper stickers and rust and dents and things like that. And also uh, vehicle behaviors. So characteristics meaning you know, speed of travel, direction and other things. So we use it in public safety with law enforcement um, as, as a replacement for LPR, which is it's a much better tool. And we do that with a SaaS model or a liquid subscription-based model where we're taking a camera for $200 a month that's replacing a twenty dollars or $30,000 legacy camera. So then in customer experience, our, our customers are um, fast food restaurants, which people are using a lot these days. So you go through the drive-through and we want to make your experience better. So recognizing that the vehicle's on the property uh, helps the folks that are making the food uh, do it more efficiently and it helps move the line along. And if you're like a repeat, a repeat customer at a place like Dunkin' Donuts where you get the same thing or Starbucks every day, you know, it's frictionless. So you can go in and out without having to, you know, take out your wallet or even place your order so they know you're there. Um, but ultimately the, 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 the big like thing for us are smart cities and smart roadways. Um, and, and that's where this is all headed and, and where things are gonna converge. And what's your background? I mean, how, how'd you come into all this? Uh, that's a good question. My background is I started out in private equity years ago. Uh, and from there, I ended up um, running several public companies. The first was in the hospitality industry. Uh, the second was in telecommunications. And then prior to this was a gaming company. <laughs> so I was in the casino business for a number of years. And uh, I, I got involved with this back in 2014, 15. I started to look around for um, you know, the next thing to do. I thought I had at least another career left in me. And uh, I tripped over backwards into this and here I am. What would you say is the, is, what does the industry landscape look like right now? You know, where, where, how is Recor fitting into 
it, some of the opportunities out there? It's a great, great question. It, it's the industry landscape, if you think about it. So think about 5G, the internet of things and so forth. And everything's going to converge to smart cities and smart roadways. Um, you know, when you start thinking about autonomous vehicles and other things like that. And we're right at the nexus of all of that. So we sit right in the center of all those things happening at the same time. And the technology that we have works with that in concept from every direction that you can feed to it. So it's a great, it's a, just a really great place to be. Gotcha. And then from what you can tell us, what are the, let's say the one to two things that investors should look for from Recore now moving forward? Well, so as of June 30, we sold our last non-core uh, subsidiary that was in a business that had nothing to do with this. Um, we recently cleaned up our balance sheet. Our uh, senior secured note holders um, converted their um, debt to equity, which um, was nice because they did it at a price above market, um, even where the stock is trading today. So they had to come over the wall and see non-public stuff to get comfortable to do that. Because why would you give up you know, a secure position you know, for equity, unless you believe in it. Um, so I think, you know, those are important things. And, and now Recore is starting to scale. So we spent the last year building infrastructure, people, um, like our chief marketing officer, Susan Crandall, she, uh, she left Motorola Solutions, a $27 billion company to come to Recore, right? So um, I think we've got a great team. And, but the most important thing is our tech is great, but equally as important to the tech is the pricing. Everything that we do is either SaaS based or it's a liquid model, meaning it's subscription based. So our revenue is recurring uh, and you know, our margins are very high. So when it's software, you know, you're getting pretty close. Nothing's hundred percent, but you're getting up there. And our liquid models on, on the bundled products that we sell are, are you know, high margins like in the seventies. So, you know, it, it's, it's a good financial model. And with that, where can our audience go and find everything they need to know about Recore? On our website, um, we just changed our visual identity uh, in May of this year. So we changed um, our domain from .com to .ai. Uh, and we, uh, we have a new investor deck that we put up there. Um, and, you know, when the site flipped over and a short video and so forth. And I think the video will give you a 60,000 foot view of what the company does. And uh, the deck will give you a really good idea of the detail. Oh, you're one of those now. You're, you're one of those dot AIs. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're a dot AI. You're one of those well, dot AIs. All here's right. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, don't judge this company by this old guy sitting here talking to you, right? Because <laughs> the average age in this company is in, uh, in the thirties, right? So we got a lot of really smart young engineers here and a great culture. And for me, this is frankly a lot of fun to be around. You know, it's just, it's wonderful because it's a, it's a startup inside a public company that you might see in Silicon Valley and it's, it's fun to be here. And uh, it's, a, it's just a great atmosphere and a fun time, exciting time. That's great. Well, I want to say, Robert, thank you so much for doing this interview with me today. I wish you guys the best of luck, stay safe. And uh, I look forward to our next update. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you.